Let's get into this. Give me one second. Share my screen. And let me know when you can see it. Let me know when you can see my screen. Amen. I can see it. Okay. How's that? Is that good? Yep. All right. Let's let's get into it. And uh, again, this is a 10-part class. Um, this is class one. I will be recording it to our Zoom cloud and um, uploading it up to YouTube um, subsequently for those who want to go back and review it. But um, this is a good subject. Um, I learned this in Delaware, some of it, and I added mine to it. So this is a good course of study. And I think that uh, you're going to get a lot out of this course. OK, so today, tonight, we'll be talking about victory and spiritual warfare. And it's a 10 part series. OK, um, and our objective through this class is this, to stop Satan and his demonic attacks. OK, to stop attacks against our family. Uh, to stop attacks against our church and to identify, locate, and eradicate the works of the enemy. How many know we need to eradicate Satan works against our family, friends, and loved ones? Amen. Amen. Uh, one thing I've learned in my journey is that oftentimes the devil, if he can't get to you, he tries to get to those around you. That's right. And his, and his effort is to distract you and get you off course. So um, if I can't get to you, I'll get to the weakest link around you and try to use that person as a as a, a instrument against whatever work that God has you doing, you know, to ultimately to get you distracted um, from from pursuing what God has you to do. So that's why it's so important that we continue to pray for our loved ones. Um, I wish God would give us a, a glimpse into the spiritual realm and to see the war that's going on. Um. I believe if we got to see the actual war that's going on in the spirit realm, you will understand how powerful your prayers are. You know, we don't see that. And I, and I, want, I don't want to see it all the time. <laughs> but if God was to give you a glimpse, and let me show you about five minutes of the power of prayer. Then I can guess, I bet you all of us will be praying 24-7. But uh, oftentimes we don't see the power of prayer, but we experience it. We see breakthroughs, right? But we just don't see the warring that goes on in the spiritual realm. Um, but one thing God wants us to understand is um, there's power in prayer. And when, they, when we pray, we need to know specifically what we're praying for and how to pray. Amen. Amen. So I have... Um, the pre-fall state of Lucifer and the fallen angels. Who was Lucifer? Does anyone know? I know it's elementary to some. Who was Lucifer? Who is he now? Fallen the angel. Devil. Fallen angel. But Lucifer specifically, who is he now? Satan. Satan. The devil. He's Satan. He's Satan. Okay. And one thing we got to read... Um, can I guess I want to read Colossians chapter 1, verse 16 right there on the screen? For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or power or things were created by him and for him. Amen. Thrones, Amen. Dominion, principalities, power, all things are held together by the word of God's power. Let me make sure that's the right scripture system. I just had my mother read first Hebrews, and I was putting this together. I may have, uh, uh, okay, let me see here. First class in 16. Make sure that's the right scripture. Yeah. Hebrews 2, huh, man? Okay. Okay. Well, um, in this passage of the scripture, God gives us a glimpse into the spiritual realm. Okay. Who's for by him? Who is him? Who's oh. him? Oh. Jesus. Jesus. For oh. by Jesus, 
him were all things created that are in heaven, the earth, visible things that we can see in our in our human flesh, right? And things that are invisible that we don't see. And things we don't see, God is saying is power on thrones. That's the highest level, right? Mm -hmm. In Satan's kingdom, any fallen angel that occupies a throne has tremendous amount of a power. Then under thrones comes dominions, okay? Then under this dominions comes principalities. Then under principalities is the lower ranking of powers. That's the ranking order. This is Satan's ranking order. Satan is like the president. Okay, he has all he's in charge of the dark army, the forces of darkness. That under him directly are thrones, fallen angels who occupy those thrones. They may have large portions of the earth that they are in control of. And the forces of darkness have to report up to them, almost like a military, right? Then they have dominions, principalities. A principality may be the size level of like a city, a state, right? And then there's powers. So the devil is very, he has an army. He has the army of darkness. And he, the Satan is brilliant. When God, and we'll talk about that, when God cast him out of heaven, he didn't take his power from him. Okay? And we got to realize that Satan still has his power. And he has a very um, equipped army of thrones, dominions, principalities, and powers, right, that report up to him that does his work. Now, one thing Satan doesn't have, he's not like God. He's not omnipotent. He's not, he can't be everywhere at one time. I don't understand why he just didn't do that. Where God is everywhere at the same time. The Bible says he's omnipotent, omnipotent, omnipotent. I mean, he has all power. Um, what's it? Omnipotent. Um, I'm drawing a blank. Um, omnipotent. He has all power. He's omniscient. He's omniscient. And what's the other one? Omnipotent. Omnipresent. And omnipresent. Omnipresent means he's everywhere. Satan does not have that power. And one thing we have to realize that Lucifer is a created being. God created Lucifer, who became Satan when he lost his dominion. Okay? Amen? And again, we said, by, for, by him all things were created are in heaven and, and, and the earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones, dominions, principalities, powers, all things created by him. And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. This is Jesus. He is before all things. And by Jesus, all things consist. By Jesus, all things that seen and unseen consist. And you got to understand this. Even though folks get a little leery, I don't want to talk about spiritual warfare. I don't want to get into all that, that darkness or demonic stuff. It's real. It's real. Why, um, Pastor, why you think um, Jesus um, let him have his power? I mean, why couldn't he just take it away? We have to go through all these changes. <laughs> Anybody want to answer that? Why Amazing. didn't God just eradicate yeah. Satan? Why didn't he just eradicate Satan and, and got rid of him when he when he sinned, when Lucifer sinned? Why didn't he? Anyone? Why didn't God just eradicate him? Get rid of him. Because man had fallen because of Satan. And God gave him a timetable in which that he would be allowed to roam this earth and mm -hmm. do what he does. Mm -hmm. And God and God told Satan that there would be one that would, he would bruise their heel, but he would bruise his head, being Jesus. Mm hmm and as Jesus comes back and takes from Satan the keys of death, hell, and the grave. Mm -hmm. And so he goes back to God where he sits and all power is, was given unto him from the mm -hmm. cross. Amen. You know. Amen. So he, he had, um, Satan had um, took the lease from the, from, from, for the earth 
from God when man fell. We gave up our ownership. God gave the earth. He created the world that man would reign over it. He told Adam, you will rule, you will reign, you will name the animals, you will name the plants, you will go, you know. And when Adam, when they fell in the garden, that we gave up the keys to this earth. We gave up mm -hmm. our, our, our rights, our power, our ownership. So it had to be taken back by the same, through a man, it had to be taken back. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And anyone else, anyone else want to add any comments? Why do you think God just did not eradicate him? Very good explanation from um, Minister Watkins. Why, why didn't God just take back the power and just say, done with you, Satan. You're going back to the dust. Right. Like, Fran like Thanos, right? Y'all remember Thanos from um <laughs> why didn't God just snap his fingers like Thanos and he goes away? Another reason um that God didn't who here is a robot? Who here is a is a robot? Nobody. God wanted people to worship him in spirit and truth right? right if god would have made us robots would you be worshiping god because you chose him or because he's making you because he made us right amen because he's making you so right now you all have a free choice you have a free will right you have a free will to choose god or reject him yeah amen That's and, a free and will. he gave he gave Adam and Eve a free will in the garden when yes, he, he told did. them they could choose to eat from this tree and die or not eat from it and Amen. live. And they chose to eat from the tree because the serpent beguiled the woman. And that's why you know? I love, that's why I love it. Joshua said, as for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. Yep. Choose this day whom you're going to serve. But as for me and my house, we are going to serve the Lord. Amen? Amen. So God's purpose for creating Lucifer. Satan was created to worship God. Can someone read Ezekiel 28, 13 through 15? I have it right there on the screen if you can read it. Ezekiel 28, 13 through 15. Lucifer was created for worship. That why he, that's why he was created, for worship. Anyone want to read? Let me get my eyes together. Okay. Well, Ezekiel, I'll, I'll, Ezekiel 28, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was by thy covering, the sardis, the topaz, and the diamond, the beryl, the onyx, and the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle, and the gold. The workmanship of thy tablets and of thy pipes was prepared in thee the day that thou was created. Turn it down. That thou was created. Thou art the anointed cherub that covered. Mm. And I have set thee so thou was upon the holy mountain of God. Thou hast walked up and, up down, and down in the midst, in the midst of the stones of fire. Mm. Thou was perfect, perfect in thy ways from the day that thou was created. So now, was found, found in me. My God. Yeah. Satan, Satan, outside of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Satan had all, he was fourth in charge. Mm -hmm. Second in charge. He was covered by Sardis. All these fine, he was a, a walking jewelry instrument. Topaz. And you want to wild rappers like to wear all the diamonds and stuff? Because they're acting like their father, the devil. The gold fronts, all the jewelry, the rings. That's Satan. He had mm -hmm. the topaz, the diamonds, the burl. This was built into his being. Mm -hmm. Gold. The workmanship of thy tablets and pipes were prepared in you. He was a living, walking, singing, worshiping jury box. Yep. And then on top of that, he was anointed. He was anointed church. Anybody ever see the Ark of the Covenant? What that looks like, the symbol 
the mm -hmm. body was covering that ark as a church. Mm -hmm. Satan was covering the throne of God. My God, why do you think he fights against the anointing? Because he was anointed. Why he wants? To, why do you think he wants y'all people powerless? Because he understands the power of the anointing. Because he was once the anointed church that covers. And he said he got to walk up the holy mountain of God. My God, he had all access. <laughs> he had all access. <laughs> he walked up in the midst of the stones of fire. He was perfect in all his ways. Till sin. And what's the difference? We always talk about iniquity. What is iniquity? What is iniquity? Sin. It's sin, but what type of sin is it? That's bad. What is iniquity versus uh, transgression? Will, yeah, transgression, willful sin. And um, Amen. a lot of times iniquity was passed down through generations as well. Absolutely. Iniquity is when you make up in your heart, mm -hmm. purposefully in your heart to sin against God. We say sins of omission and commission. Iniquity is like, I'm going to sin. I know this is wrong, but I'm purposing in my heart to sin against God. So Satan had all access, right? But that still wasn't enough. Why do you think a lot of these, these folks who have all this money, all this fame, and it's still not enough? I've read an article, you know, Lisa Marie um, Presley? Mm -hmm. She died at the age of 54, what, a couple of days ago? Mm -hmm. And she, do you know how much money she inherited from Elvis? $500 million. Wow. How many of y'all can use $500? <laughs> How many y'all can use five thousand dollars? How many y'all can use a million dollars? Exactly. How many y'all can use five million? You give me five million right now, you may not ever see me again. I'm like Damon, he's a good preacher, pastor, but he ain't been in church since. <laughs> he bought himself a little, a little wow, bungalow million? out there on Jamaica, and he up there with the Jamaicans. He ain't seen him since. <laughs> <laughs> no, all truth. I will still be here. Amen. But <laughs> she was given five hundred million dollars. Wow! And when she died, guess how much money she had? No. She she was sixteen million in debt. Whoa! What's she been doing? <laughs> Minister Brand, that's the question I want to know. What have you been doing? Nothing. She had been doing nothing. <laughs> she been doing something. Uh, she something. Doing she went through five hundred million dollars. Now she <laughs> leaves her daughter and everybody left behind her debt. And debt. Because how many know? All she did was spend, spend, spend. All she did was spend, spend, spend. spend, spend. That's it. That's how many know that. God didn't create material things to satisfy you? Wow. Look. Uh, my wife said she didn't really understand those answers about uh, why God didn't kill Satan. Mm -hmm. So if you don't mind, let me say something. Amen, amen. Just fill it in if you like. Amen. You know, Satan, Lucifer, he challenged the fairness of God's government. He went around lying all over the place about God <laughs> and the angel. And you, you're stealing my, you're stealing my subject. Lie <laughs> you're taking this stuff. I'm, so I'm done. If he had killed Satan, and everybody would have been wondering, well, I wonder if Satan, if Lucifer was right. Mm. So he even allowed Satan to bring his stuff down here to Adam and Eve, too. Amen. So now this earth is like a testing ground to see who's right, God or the devil. Mm. Mm. That's the Amen. Point. Amen. Uh, Mr. Green. Branch, he must have got a, a glimpse into this presentation for the night. Uh -huh. Some of his attributes. He was a brilliant creature, the morning star. Isaiah 14, 12 says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, uh -huh. son of the morning? 
How art thou cut down to the ground which this weakens the nations? Uh, uh, uh. Ezekiel 28, 13, 17 says, Thou hast been in the, eaten again the garden of God. Every precious stone was your covering. Oh. You had the sardis, the tapis, the diamond, the beryl, the jasper, the emerald. He had it all. Uh -huh. And then you can sing. I built in you tablets and pipes. That's why we say, man, she, he got some pipes. You heard the uh -huh. saying, you say that, man, they got some pipes. Satan had the pipes. Uh -huh. He had it all. And guess what? It still wasn't enough. Uh -huh. Let me ask you all a question. How many of you all satisfied with God has given you today? How many of you are satisfied with God? I'm satisfied with him. I want to know if he's That's satisfied. what I'm saying. Amen. <laughs> oh, oh. How many of you all can truly say, if God didn't bless me another day, he's given me more than I can be thankful for? Amen. 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 That's, the, that's the Christian life where we may not have it all, but we have it all. <laughs> if you get what I'm saying. I may not have all the things and folks may look at me like, well, you ain't got all, but I have Jesus. And that's Amen. It. Amen. And I Satan had it all. Bank account. <laughs> you know, yeah, I know that's I right. need you know, I take us some of that present. <laughs> and when he had a little happier. Amen. <laughs> you know, there's nothing wrong with having things. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I need a new potty book. Amen. <laughs> Enough wrong with a new potty book. <laughs> but but we, one thing God wants us to realize is the reason why God doesn't bless many of us with a lot of financial or material things is because. How many of you all would begin to worship those things as opposed to God? Amen. 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 How many of you all would change up eventually? Now, if you can truly say in your heart, these things I have, but they don't have me, God will bless you. Amen. You know, if I give it to you, it won't take you away from me. Mm -hmm. I, gave every, I gave Satan every. I gave Satan every money. That's why we broke. <laughs> he's gonna get he's gonna bless you but he gave satan he gave lucifer everything right gave him everything and he still walked away but satan wanted to get what god has right amen. and that was to be glorified and to be worshiped amen he had all these things he was he was the head of the worship team oh. he wanted to receive worship uh -huh. because he thought he said, I will ascend over the most high. I will be like unto him. Amen. Amen. Can someone and read Ezekiel 28, 17 right there? Thou heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. Thou hast corrupted wisdom by reason of thy brightness. I will cast thee to the ground. I will lay thee before kings that they may behold thee. Amen. His heart was lifted up. <clears throat> Why do you think God hates pride? <laughs> Gotta get one or two words. Why do you think God hates pride? Oh, oh. Because it, it can corrupt you. Corrupt you with it. It can corrupt you. It can corrupt you. It can corrupt you. If you don't have it. Now, I, that's why I tell folks. And I always say, Lord, give me the wisdom of the Holy Spirit. Give me the wisdom of God. And don't allow it to corrupt me. You know, that's what Paul says, a little leaven, what does, what does it do to the brain? A little leaven. It puffers up. Yeah. Paul says, I had it all. I was the, Paul said, I hear I was the, I was the chief Pharisee. I had it all. I sat at the feet of Gamaliel and learned from the best. And when I found Jesus at Damascus, he said, I counted all as dumb. What is dumb? Poop. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I take all that I had from the world, all that wisdom, and I realized all I had attained was dumb. Uh -huh. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Satan is full of wisdom. Son of man, take up lamentations upon the king of Tyrus. Tyrus is another name for Satan. And saith to him, thus saith the Lord God, 
thou sealest up the sum full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. My Lord. Why do you think the world loves people who are beautiful? Mm -hmm. Why didn't Jesus come to this earth with diamonds built into his into his tabrets and pipes? And why did he come into a world like this? I'm here. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> that's all everybody will see is the diamonds and the groovies. He didn't come that way. How did Jesus come the first time he came? Lowly. Meek and lonely. Lowly, meek and lonely. Mm -hmm. He wasn't built in a five-star hotel when he was born, was he? No. Mm -mm. He was in a manger. In a manger. And Isaiah says, they, they, there was nothing about him, no beauty about him that people were attracted to. Mm -hmm. He was meek and lowly. Mm -hmm. Yet he had all power. Thank you, Lord. Mm, hallelujah. He had all wisdom. Yes. And how many know when he comes back the next time, he's going to show you his power. <laughs> mm -hmm. the lamb of god is going to come back as the lion of judah oh, thank you lord hallelujah somebody and how many hallelujah. know you how many know you are created in his very image thank you lord thank you and, Jesus. and by you being created with a nose a mouth some of y'all got two mouths and one ear but that's another story for another day <laughs> 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 but you were created in his likeness, right? Mm -hmm. And Satan hated that. That's why I said, what is man? That thou art mindful, mindful of, him. of him. God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. Satan wasn't made in God's likeness. He said, he said let me make Lucifer in my likeness after my... No, he said, let us make man. Mm hmm and I can see now when Satan was cast down from heaven and he still had his power. He was sitting there probably sitting there angry. Mm -hmm. And then God came down in a cool of the day and scooped up some dirt. <laughs> That's why I said, we all, we dirt people. Y'all know that, right? Right. That's right. I know you may put, I put cologne on this dirt and I wash up, this, I wash this dirt. And I dressed this dirt up, but guess what? We're dirt. But God scooped down and picked up that dirt. And he broke, he breathed what we call the ruas, the breath of God into man. And man began to breathe. Man became a living soul. And man became what, Sister David? A man living became soul. A living soul. <laughs> so, so um, are you saying uh, Satan didn't have a soul? The Bible doesn't say he does. I mean, he's, he's, an, a, he's an eternal he was a, being. He was, a, he was just a being. He's he, a, was he's a, he was an eternal being. He's eternal. He's eternal. Mm -hmm. But the Bible doesn't say he has a soul. But God breathed into us his soul. Oh, he might not. How I many know you are made in the likeness of God? Mm -hmm. Amen. You're not made in his image. Made in his, his image. image. Mm -hmm. Satan was That's perfect true. in beauty. Ezekiel 12 says, and the, Thou sealest up the sun full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. My Lord. He had it all, didn't he? Full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. Then he was what? Thou art the anointed. Sure. That covereth. And I have set thee, thou was upon the holy mountain of God. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Why think Satan fights so hard to keep the anointing out the church? Anybody? What does the anointing do? What is the, what is the anointing? What is the anointing? We say that stuff all the time. What is the anointing? Fellowship with God. I uh, said so fellowship of God. Anyone? That's one answer. Fellowship of God. We have a spirit. Spirit. What is the set anointing? Up, set apart. Set apart. Okay. What is the anointing? There's one word you can say that will describe it all. What is the anointing? 
power. <laughs> Who I said mean, it? It's, it's, it's power. Power. It's, you said it. <laughs> I mean, you can feel the north, You can feel the power of His presence. It's the power of God. Power. How many of y'all have felt the power of God over you? Amen. 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 How you all? Have, who's been praying or reading, or you've been caught up and you feel that power? Sometimes they say it feels like a sensation. You know. Anointing is fullness is something it's, different, totally different. Full, fullness is a beautiful it's, feeling. It's anointing, amazing. Anointing is the power of God. Yeah. And when you're filled with the Holy Spirit, you have the power of God. You are anointed. You are set aside. And it's time that you walk in your anointing. The devil should, the, the demon should tremble when you wake up. They should be like, oh boy, Sister Dave is up right now, y'all. All right, get your weapons ready because we know, we know she's a praying woman. <laughs> My Lord. That's power. But we have to know what we're praying for and how to pray, right? Mm -hmm. Because if we don't, you're powerless. You're powerful, but it's like having a gun and not knowing how to use it. And many Christians have these powerful weapons that God has assigned to you, and you don't know how to use it. That's why Satan's fight so hard to keep you from hearing the word of God. From How many know when you read the Bible? I always tell folks, if you want to go sleep at night, read the Bible and say a prayer. <laughs> Something comes, you get sleepy really quick, don't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> How about when you're in church and the service moving good, but as soon as the preacher comes up there, sprinkle dust of sleep goes all around. Folks' mm -hmm. eyes get real heavy. Mm -hmm. Because Satan is the author of confusion. And if I can keep you confused in a state of understanding the anointing that I once had, that you now have, your anointing can stop a lot of things that once we come together. That's why God says when one or two or three come together, that's power and agreement. That's why the devil fights so hard to keep us separated. The Bible says one can chase what? One can chase what? A thousand. thousand. Two can chase how many? Ten thousand. Ten thousand. Three can chase a hundred and it goes on. That's power. That's why it's so important to have a prayer group. A three-fold court, it can't be broke that easy. If we come together and we come together in unity and all this anointing, all this power come together, man, what can't we do? We can what move can, mountains. We can do what, Sister Davis? We can move mountains. We can move mountains. How many of us got mountains in our lives that need to be moved? Amen. That's why I have the hand of Thanos, right? <laughs> no <laughs> that's why I have the Holy Spirit how many know the Holy Spirit walks with me yes. walks with you he yes. talks with you yes how many know that's why I was telling you on Sunday when you wake up four in the morning and you feel hungry maybe this time God's telling you I need I need to speak to you mm -hmm. I need to commune with you before um the day gets going then you won't hear my voice all day because it'd be drowned out by YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, family, fam. Now you're all occupied. And I haven't, you haven't heard one word from me. So I mean, that's why I say, I, David said, I seek the Lord early in the morning. And Satan fights against that because he understands the power of the anointing. He understands, he walked up in the midst, in the stones of fire. He understood what, like Jeremiah said, it was like fire that what? Shut, Shut up, up in my bones. <clears throat> I couldn't keep it to myself. Mm -hmm. How many of y'all got that fire that shots up in your bones sometimes? You just can't keep it to yourself. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. You got to tell somebody. Amen. 
Amen. He knows that. He knows that you are created in the image of God and you have the Holy Spirit. You have a treasure in this earthen vessel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this earthen vessel may be 50 going on 51. Some of y'all a little older, some a little younger. But within this earthen vessel, I have a treasure. He's given us the Holy Spirit. He's given us the anointing, the power of God to command every situation. And, and the, big, the the greatest thing I learned, I'm learning, I'm still learning, I thank the Lord for is this. He may not work every situation out the way I want him to. But I've learned to be content, like Paul said, in all matters. I've learned to be content. Lord, let thy will be done on earth. <laughs> not my will, but thy will. And he said, we pray, alone, we pray according to his will, it'll be done. And God will give you his will if you listen. Amen. 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 He was perfect in all his ways from the day thou was created till iniquity was found in him. Iniquity. How many of us have been iniquitous at one time? I know you all got your wings on. I know you got your wings on, tucked in behind your clothes, and you, you put your halo <laughs> down at the door when you, when you got home. I know, I know, I know. I know you've never sinned and come short of this glory. I know, I know. Everybody's been saved all our lives. <laughs> no, 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 we <laughs> Dion, we've saved all. We've been Dalton and on Sundays, on um, two services, Saturday choir rehearsal, Tuesday, mm -hmm. Wednesday, Bible study, Friday. <laughs> we had youth prayer all night long. Came back Saturday morning to yeah. sing on the choir when Martha was playing the organ and was in church two times on Sunday. And I was filled clothes on my in my on my on my suit in the morning time, fill food on my food on my clothes, and my mom would tell me still wipe it off and get to church. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. And and the thing about it, we spent all that time in church and was and Sin would meet us right there. Right at the yep. door. Right at the door. Right at yep. the door. We, we would sin right, right on church <laughs> trips and stuff. <laughs> no, no, no. We were preacher kids. No, we didn't be on. You know we ain't do none of that. The devil is a lie. <laughs> I ain't never sinned. I was born. I was, I was perfect in all my ways when I was born. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if I say that, and if I believe that, I'm lying right to y'all. Right now, I'm lying with a nick with this right now. By y'all, <laughs> you think I believe that? For all have sinned. All? Oh, no, no, no. Since the day some, some have sinned. For all have sinned. No, most all have sinned and come short <laughs> of the glory of God. <laughs> we was born in sin and shaped by what? Iniquity. 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 That's why Paul says, the good I want to do, man, I can't do. Uh, uh, uh. But the the good, the, the things I don't want to do, I find myself doing. <laughs> I find myself doing. That's right. Then he probably said, oh, wretched man is me. Who can <laughs> save me from this body of sin? Who can thanks save me? God. But thanks be to God. It's like I got some Bible reason on this phone tonight. Thank, Thank you, Lord. But thanks be to God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, all Satan attributes were not removed. Can someone read Jude 6 through 9 right there? It's Jude 6 through 9. Okay. <laughs> And the angels, which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he had reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. Mm -hmm. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah, and it is about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication. Mm -hmm. And going after strange flesh mm -hmm. are set forth for an example, su suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Mm -hmm. like, like, likewise, also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yet, mm -hmm. like the archangel, angel. When contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, thus 
there's not ring against him a real in the accusation, but say it to the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Michael was fighting over the body of Moses, and he said, The Lord mm -hmm. rebuke you. So God hasn't removed his power. No. Nope. Nope. So Satan, I heard a preacher say this. I don't fear him, but I respect him. I know that's right. Mm -hmm. You better show some, put some respect on it. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> but that's why God has given us the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. That's why he gives us the power to tread upon scorpions. I ain't, don't go get a real scorpion now. Don't I know, know that's is, right. You know, this is symbolic. You know, but we have the power to tread over this. But it's only through the power of Jesus. It's only through his power, not our power. So don't get pumped up, think that you got to No, you, we have the Holy Spirit operating within us that gives us the power. And even Michael contending for the body said, the Lord rebuke you, Satan. So he still has a tremendous amount of power, a tremendous amount of wisdom. And how many know he can masquerade as an angel of light? That's right, man. He's not sitting in hell with a, a pitchfork. Mm -mm. He's the prince of the air. Mm -hmm. He goes about to and fro, seeking mm -hmm. who he must. He can devour. devour. Oh. But when he comes to a Christian, he's like, I, I can't get to them. Because you, you have a hedge of protection around them. Thank you, Lord. So every day you walk out, you have an angel. He walks with me. And the mm -hmm. Bible says, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Mm -hmm. So you're protected. You're protected. And you're covered. But still use wisdom. Still use wisdom. Amen? Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because I want to read Daniel 10, 12 through 13. We're almost done here. Daniel 10, 12 through 13. A messenger of angel, a messenger of angel contended with, we talked about dominions, right? Thrones, dominions, principalities, and powers. Did we talk about that? So right here, the Bible is showing us a principality. Go, the devil, the devil structure. So someone read right here for me, Daniel 10, 12 through 13. You said 12, 13? Uh, um, chapter 10, 12 through 13. Your two verses. Oh, you want me to read the two verses? Oh, yes, then, yes, please. then they said, He unto me, fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou. That's. Mm -hmm. This set. Uh, mm -hmm. set. Yeah, this set. Then thine heart to understand in the chasing. Mm hmm. Thou saw before thou God, thy words were heard, heard, and I am come for thy words. But the prince, prince of kingdom of Paris, which did me. Mm -hmm. me one in twenty days, but to the Michael one, yeah. mm -hmm. one of the chief prince came to help. Me and I remain there with the kings of purse. Amen. 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 So right here, God is showing us a principality over the kingdom of Persia was trying to stop Daniel from getting what God had for him. There was a war in the heavens. Amen. Amen. For 21 days. But Daniel kept praying, didn't he? Mm -hmm. And some of us got to realize, we got to pray through some of this. Mm -hmm. I remember that song, there's a war going on. And mm -hmm. if you're going to win, you better have Jesus deep down within. Mm -hmm. This battle cannot be won with bullets and guns. But you have the sword, which is what? The word of God word deep of God. down. In your soul. In so your Daniel soul. didn't get that request in 21 days. He could have gave up like, well, God's not going. Sometimes you got to press through. Mm -hmm. 
That's why I say I wish God can give us a glimpse every so often to the spirit realm, then you can see the war. Your angel may be fighting for you right now, and he's getting weak because your prayer life is weak. Mm -hmm. Or your angel gets defeated in that battle because you stopped praying. Mm -hmm. Because you didn't have enough faith. Well, I don't see nothing happening, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop praying. Mm -hmm. That's when you got to pray harder. Now, sometimes some things come out, like Jesus says, this comes out by fasting and what? Praying. And praying. Praying. Some things you want to have to fast and pray your way through. Right. 21 days and Daniel was a, a devout man of God. I don't know about you, but I don't know if I can stand up to some lions. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to think I have that kind of faith. I would love to think, Lord, I, I can stand if, 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 if Joe Biden said the next person that pray, we're gonna feed you to the pack of lions. <laughs> I would love to think I had that kind of faith. Or oh, I would love to think I was like she rat Shad Rat Meshach in that bad Negro. I wish I would have had that kind of faith that they put a, a firing pit in front of you and say, now pray. We dare you. I dare you to pray. And the first person prayer, you're getting tossed in there alive. And you can feel that heat. Anybody ever drive by a car that's on fire? Mm. I, you can feel it through your own car. The heat. And God is telling us some things come out through fasting and praying. And he gives us a glimpse into the spirit realm to show you that, Daniel, I heard your prayer as soon as you said it. Mm. And I sent the answer. I sent the an uh, answer. But the principality of Persia withstood Gabriel for 21 days. 21 days. He couldn't get through. So God said, Michael, go. <laughs> God always used a Michael, go. And Michael went down there and had to cut through that demonic stronghold and give Daniel the lesson, the, the answer to God, that he asked God 21 days ago. Mm -hmm. So your prayer has power. You just gonna have to pray through some things. Amen. Amen. And like Minister Brand said, this don't underestimate his ability. Minister Brand said this earlier, and his tail withdrew the third part of the stars of heaven, and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to deliver to devour her child as soon as it was born. In essence, Satan took one third of heaven with him. Yeah, the dragon, and he can fool angels who had access or more access to seeing God Himself. You think he can't fool humans? You think he can't fool you? The Bible says he's the author of confusion. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. So we have to understand as we get deep into this lesson. Who our enemy is. Amen. Now, I don't want you all to go back and say, oh boy, no. Don't underestimate him. Don't fear him. Respect it. But understand who's your father. Thank you, Lord. Who's your father? <coughs> who's your father? Amen. Amen. We have a couple of minutes. Any lasting thoughts, comments? This is your homework. I would ask everybody to read Ezekiel 28. Okay. Uh, read First John chapter three, the epistle, and read Daniel chapter ten. And what I also would ask you all to do, if you want, on the other side, uh, I'm going through the book of Joshua. Joshua is a warfare book in the Old right. Testament, right? And um, I'm gonna ask you. And I'm reading Joshua one chapter a night as I go through. Uh, but Joshua shows you the war that Israel had to go through. A lot of the battles they had. It's a warfare and book in the Bible. But um, so if you would, I would encourage you, if you can read Joshua too, read one chapter tonight, but read Ezekiel 28, 1 John 3, and um and Daniel 10. In our next class, we're gonna talk about the first sinner and his fall, how Satan fell. So tonight we showed you who he was, how he was created, the pipes and the tabrets and all that power was given him, beauty, full of wisdom until iniquity was found in him. So after iniquity was found in him, what happened next? He fell, but 
we're going to talk more about how that fall looked and how we came about and why Satan hates you so much because mm -hmm. you are made in the very image of God. Any I'm last thoughts? We got three minutes. Any last thoughts? Comments? Yes, um, Pastor Damon. Yes, the um, the when when Michael contended with Satan and mm -hmm. he rebuked him, mm -hmm. it is proof that we need a lot of times in this day and age that you don't cuss out the devil when you're trying <laughs> to pray. Because yeah. we know some people who do those things. And people think, oh, I'll, oh, that's the devil. Let me just cuss him out. And all that does is play into his game the way he plays. Amen. And and Michael didn't give no real accusations. He knew everything about him, knew how he got cast out, everything. And he didn't even start calling down all of his stuff on him. He said, the Lord rebuke you. Lord rebuke you. That's simple. The Lord rebuke you. And Satan know who the Lord is. My Lord. The Lord rebuke you. Your prayers don't have to be all long and drawn out. Like, Lord, touch my body. Mm -hmm. Touch my child. Mm -hmm. Lord, rebuke the devil over their life, over their mind. Keep them on the right path, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, no. no that's power. Thank you, Lord. Any other comments before we pray out? Any other last comments? Yes. Um, Pastor, you was talking about uh, iniquity. Mm -hmm. Iniquity, does that mean that the person's doing that on purpose? Oh, or yes, they really wanted to, they really want to do that despite of? Yes, ma'am. And that causes um, um, a sin. A sin. A sin. God put Satan out because of that. God put Satan out because iniquity was found in his heart because Satan says, I'm going to ascend above the throne of God. Mm -hmm. I'm, I am, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do all this. Mm -hmm. That's why he got kicked out because he wanted to become God. Because mm -hmm. he wanted to, he was in charge of the choir, the worship choir. He brought the praise and worship to God. But that's not enough. Why can't they praise me now? Look at me. Look mm -hmm. at me. And how many know that's in our church? <laughs> why can't yeah. I sing? Why can't I sing yeah. these songs? Yeah. Why can't I preach this Sunday? Why she? That's yeah. uh, your father. Well, yeah, that does go in the church. <laughs> when you act like that, that's your father's <laughs> double. Mm -hmm. I told God's not respect of a person. If I'm up in there preaching. And my heart is in the wrong place. And I pray that God keep me in the right place. Mm -hmm. But if I'm up there preaching and my heart's in the wrong place because I want the praise of man. Mm -hmm. And Minister Branch comes to church every morning and picks up that trash. Guess who's going to get a reward in heaven? Guess who's not? Amen. <laughs> preaching. That's the word. Some of y'all think some of these big bishops and preachers are going to get all mm. these awards. No, it's your praying grandmother who died. And nobody knew her name. Mm -hmm. Praying in her prayer closet. Mm -hmm. Some of us are reaping the prayers of our ancestors right now. That's right. Mm -hmm. You remember we talked about this and I'm, I'm done. You remember we talked about um, when they were rebuilding the wall? When um, Nehemiah was rebuilding the wall, we talked about some time ago. And there was a man in there, I forget his name. And they said, when they said, we're going to go back and build the wall. He got dirty and started building that wall. And he started rebuilding the wall. And his name was mentioned one time. I can't remember mm -hmm. his name, but say his name was John. And John, when Nehemiah, when Nehemiah told John, hey, we're going to, John said, give me my give me my work boots. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. And here we are, yeah. 6,000 years talking about John rebuilding mm -hmm. the wall. God don't mm -hmm. respect person. Mm -hmm. He respects when you re honor his son. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Any other words before we're done? 802. I'm two minutes over. I'm respectful of people's time. But any just, last parting words that just we're done? thankful I had the opportunity to join to join Amen. in. And um, prayerfully, I'll be able to join in the following weeks. If not, I'll be on YouTube. A good word. Good Amen. Word. Mm -hmm. Praise Amen. you. Praise you, you, Elder. I enjoyed it. Praise you, Elder. <laughs> Minister Bar. Praise you. We thank the Lord for everybody who came out. So, uh, Minister Branch, um, if you don't mind, would you mind praying us out, sir? If you don't mm -hmm. mind. 
Our Father, we, we thank you for this study. And Father, we pray that uh, you would help us to, uh, to really get an intimate understanding of these things that yes, we Lord. Uh, that we might know how to defend ourselves and how to move the kingdom of God forward, Father. Yes, Lord. Yes, we Lord. want to walk in the spirit, Lord. And yes, we Jesus. want to worship you with all our hearts. So yes, we just Lord. pray that uh, this, as the study continues, that we would be attentive and, and help us to focus uh, with great concentration yes, as, we, as we go through the scripture, uh, the Bible. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Lord willing, um, Sunday we'll be in service, and next Wednesday, Lord willing, we'll be back on here for class two, the first center in his fall. Amen. 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 God bless you all. Have a wonderful all. night. May heaven continue to smile upon you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Love you all. Hey, mama. Love you all. Hello. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Thank Bye. you. Good night. Good night. <laughs>